Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Inspired Empowerment Group podcast here. It's your host here with Tu Lee. Vaher. Thank you guys for joining us again on another segment of our uh, Matic Monday here. We're trying to make sense of the week as we start off. Uh, I know and I hope that uh, I know I had a great weekend and uh, I hope that your weekend was just as good. Uh, how was your weekend, Va? My weekend was cool. <laughs> Monday was pretty cool, you know. I'm glad Monday's open and market's open again. But um, just to let you guys know, um, I am the president and CEO of Monk Chamber Foundation here. And two is the... Well, I'm the CEO of Rise here and also Inspired Empowerment Group. So uh, we're just a couple of ordinary guys trying to do extraordinary things here. And uh, we hope that we can bring you some value uh, here in our podcast to help you. Um, per our last uh, episode, we were uh, talking about uh, our business formation, right? So Va and I are both contracted through the SBDC, the Central Valley SBDC, uh, to for business consulting, and uh, it's no cost to you guys. So, yeah. so if you ever feel stuck or you run out of ideas, and or you have an idea to start a business, and you're wondering how do you get started, right? Or if you just want to talk to someone to, you know. Throw some ideas to see if you uh, should do a business plan. Well, let us know. We're here at uh, Inspire Empowerment Group. We are here to help you to plan your business. We provide business consultation from startup to existing business. So yeah. start up with business planning or just only pitch, pitching business ideas. And if you are an existing business, we provide business technical assistance, including marketing, finance, and everything under the umbrella of business technical assistance. <laughs> You know, we make it sound so simple, and, and, and I know that it's a lot more technical than that, right? Uh, but, um, yeah, get with us. Uh, we kind of know what we're talking about. So uh, whatever your plans are, whatever your goals are, whatever you are trying to do, like Vasa, said, even if it's just an idea and you want to bring it to uh, from concept to reality, we're here to help you. And, again, I, I must stress this. It is at no cost to you. So. Uh, Central Valley SBDC consultants, uh, we are, and we're here to help you. Uh, we ha already have the links and the stuff down below, so if you want to go down there, uh, we'll replay how you can navigate the website to get to us as well. And if not that, you can always just reach out to us here, post a comment below, and uh, we'll get back to you as well. We're pretty good at that, but we are uh, continuing our 10 step on how to start your business, and we are step number two today. Last uh, episode, we talked about step number one, which is market research and competitive analysis is very important for you to start. And yeah. step number two is probably one of the next most important step. What, what do you think it is, too? Well, again, this is like these first two steps are like the most boring steps of the thing because uh, who wants to really do research, right? Unless, unless you're a statistician or you're just a stat geek or something like that, you know? Nobody really wants to do it, right? This is the most important. This is the most boring part. And you know what? This is the part where everybody gets in trouble and yeah. they run back and say, hey, Va, I need help. And I'm yeah. like, did you write that down? I go, why didn't you write it down? <laughs> I never thought of it. You know, so like you have to write things down, guys. Yes. If you're going to go into business, if you're going to pour your heart, your soul, your energy. And your, your money. Pour, and most importantly, we will talk about that later, uh, yeah. later too, but your money. Yeah. All right. Sometimes it costs money to start. Sometimes it doesn't. You never. We don't know. But you're gonna put your money in your business. You should always, always have this step down. Never skip step number two, which is your business plan. You know, I just wanted to add to that. You know, a lot of the times in in in, in life, when you make a mistake, you know, most of the time, no harm, no foul. You get to retry it again. But when it comes to business, when you make a mistake, you, they cost you money. And depending yeah. on that mistake, it could cost you ten upwards of $10,000 or more. Because you know what? You brush on a very good topic of mistake. So a business plan, to me, in the topic of mistakes, a business plan helps you look at other people's mistakes. <laughs> All right. So you don't have to do them. So you don't have to make those mistakes, right? right? It, I mean, look at it like this, guys. Let's say you want to start a taco truck. All right, I'm going to use taco truck because that's my favorite. That's one of my favorite food. So you got to look at what all the other taco truck did and yeah. what they did wrong. 
then put it in your plan. Yeah. Because if you didn't, put, if you don't, if you do not do that, and you do not put that in your plan, I'm almost sure you're gonna make the same mistakes. Well, I mean, a, a big part of the business plan, uh, and and after you've researched it, a big part of your business plan is the SWOT analysis, right? And so, uh, you do go over your strengths, your weaknesses, the opportunities that exist, and also the threats, which is the other taco trucks that you're talking about, right? That's right, and we will do a full segment on SWOT analysis, yeah. so that way you guys will know and understand that, because there's a lot of tools that you can use. Yeah. You know, basically, your business plan is the foundation of your business, okay? The foundation. Remember that. Everything that you do should have a foundation, even yeah. when even when, when they build your house, you know, the house you live in, they put a foundation in. Yeah. Right. So this is the roadmap and structure of how your business is going to grow. Right. And there are two types uh, at the top. What we like to uh, use for our client is two type of business plan, traditional and lean. Mm -hmm. okay, so it, and, it, and it depends on where you're at. How do you want to do it? You could go with either or. Yeah. But I suggest that you have a plan and you don't even have to do a traditional lean. You just need to just write it down. It doesn't have to be a structured plan. You can write it on a piece it of napkin. It could be a paragraph. Yeah, a yeah. paragraph. A couple it sentences. It could just be some, like, you know, uh, bullet points, you know, or you could write it on your arm and take a picture of it <laughs> later, you know. Uh, just write it down. So. Yeah. There is no right or wrong way between the two, right? One is just more in-depth and in detail. One is just um, more exactly what it says, lean. Mm -hmm. the, the, the biggest mistake that most people make is not having a business plan. That is, yep. So, so it's don't be one of those guys plan. or gals that's, just pursues your passion kudos to you like don't get me wrong you got a passion you got a skill you got a talent and, and you're trying to monetize it hey man that's that that's part of the american dream right to be an entrepreneur and to have your own business to work for yourself and to grow it whether it's a side hustle that eventually grows into a full bloom business hey get, get, get the boring part out of the way it'll save you so much headache later on down the road and va and i could tell many stories and we can go on for hours telling of all the stories that we've personally gone through ourselves and uh, from from our associates that we know about, but yeah. Uh, so your business plan is your roadmap. It's your foundation. It helps you run and grow your new business. But a business plan also, in a sense, kind of is like a. It's not like it's not like you have to do. It's not like it's not like like it's not like some some contract or whatever you have to do. Well, let me it's help more you of a out. guideline, yeah, right? Let me help you a little bit. Okay. So when you start your business plan, yeah. It doesn't have to be complete. No, it doesn't. It, it, it should, it be should like, never be complete. It, yeah, it should, should ever be evolving. Yeah, it should add on and evolve. But you got to come to a point where you have a you have a standard process for your business, too. Like you said, it, yeah. it has to at least be the foundation. And there has to be some templates and some standard process and some yeah. systematic structure. You know, like me, I'm a systematic guy. <laughs> Even doing this show, we have to produce this show. Yeah. We have to put it in paper. It has to be a structure. And Vi so, is great at that. But... <clears throat> One thing, guys, um, you don't have to pay anybody to help you do your business plan. If somebody, if somebody is, is charging you for this, I'm just going to let you know that uh, they're ripping you off and they're taking advantage of your ignorance. And we don't like that here in Aspire Empowerment. That's why we choose to do this for you, people out there, at no cost. Yeah, right? we, at we, no cost. We, we want to inspire you by doing, and then we want to empower you by giving you the knowledge and the resources and the tools, right? And if it's something that we can't do ourselves or we don't know, like, again, chances are we know somebody or we could point you to somebody who does. So, uh, yeah, the business plan is such an important part of it. Um, so, Va, well, what's a – I know we said there's no right or wrong way in, in, in choosing it, but and, – and we went over the napkin and the arm thing, but – What's a good business plan? Well, how, we say it's a guide, but, but how does it guide you? I think um, a good bi business plan, you should have each stage, like especially your starting stage. Yeah. Or you could also work backward and say, I want my business to look like this, this yeah. when it's done, yeah. right? And you put it right here on the side over here on the end, and you go to the beginning, right? And it should have a starting point and how you're going to manage it, what you're going to do, the things you're going to do. You know, if if you have a team, um, what kind of skill set you're going to bring to your business to grow your business as you move forward with your roadmap? And there should be a lot. There should be certain key elements. So like at the top of my head, 
a traditional business plan, you got to have your executive summary. Oh, yeah. Okay? However, you don't. You actually don't have to do your executive summary. That should summary be the last right thing you do. Yeah, it, it's the first thing on your plan. But it's the last but thing. It could be the last thing you do, right? You it could, should be the last yeah. thing you do because that's a summarization yes. of everything that's in there. And it could change there. too. And, you know, has your, and it should has what your, 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 your name of your business, description, some market analysis you have, you know, your management, especially your product or service, marketing and sales, you know, financial projection, uh, appendix or anything that's add on to your business plan, you know? So these are just the basic component that uh, are elements in your business plan yeah. that will look good and solid uh, in the event that you have a wonderful idea and you're pitching it to potential investor. Yeah. Or especially or if you're going <coughs> to apply for a business loan. Yeah, from the SBA or anybody else. Anybody, yeah. Well, I can share a personal story. So when I started my first company, um, I was so excited about it. I learned about the importance of a business plan. And it said executive summary is the first thing you see. So I started working on that. And I put together, man, I, I worked out. That thing sounded beautiful and everything. And then I started working on all the other segments. And then I got to the SWAT. And I'm like, OK, I started thinking about it. And I'm like, man, this changes up my executive summary mm -hmm. because of what I learned from my SWAT and my, and my analysis and my research. So that's why I, I said. That should be the last thing you do because once you once you figure everything out, you do your SWAT and you do your research and you do your and you, you know who your target audiences are, your how much your cost of acquisitions are going to be and who's going to be your managing partners or or if any, um, then you know you can the the executive summary is like that pretty bow tie in the present, right? <laughs> you you bundle everything up and you wrap it up and you make it look you give it that final touch, but it will be the first thing that people read and if they're not interested in if they, if it's not even though it should be the last thing you do, it's the most important thing you do because if you can't capture somebody's uh, attention in that executive summary, they're probably not going to go down the list and, and read the rest of your, your business plan. So what do you think about lean, man? Have, like, what, are, what, are, what are your thoughts and uh, some of the elements that's involved in lean? Business well, plan, yeah. you know, most of the business plans that I have experience with are on the lean side. Um, I, have, I have seen some of the more in-depth ones. Um, like, for example, I was looking up, uh, I forgot who I was doing it for. It was a couple of years ago, but I was l researching franchise. Somebody wanted to start up a franchise. And I said, you know what? Deli Delicious is. And this was like, I think, four years ago, three or four years ago. And somebody was looking up a to start up a franchise. I'm like, hey, dude, what should I get into? And I'm like, you know, that little, that little, uh, uh, that little deli thing, Deli Delicious. I mean, Deli Delicious is pretty much everywhere, at almost at every corner now, right? You can see. So there's a lot of franchisee owners in it. So kudos to you guys. And uh, good good job, Deli Delicious, for franchising it out. But I looked up their business plan. That thing is like 347 pages long Damn. in detail because it writes you down what kind of uh, kitchen, the way the structure is, yeah, how like you hire people, yeah, your training, so and it everything. It goes from like compliance mm -hmm. to like even training state permits the, county permits all the permitting licensing yeah. even even the standard process of making yeah a sandwich yeah, yeah. where to order the dough from and yeah. stuff like that so so well before we wrap things up man let me let me just bring something up man uh you know there seems to be some hypes here and there about buying houses you know so you ever wonder like if you should buy a house now or like you never owned a house before and you you ever thought of trying to buy a house you're a first time home buyer and you need some help or you're already a homeowner and you know you're looking for another house and the previous realtor you work with wasn't really good but you're looking for someone better well guess what i have somebody for you guys <laughs> check this out i have my buddy yeah her yeah her realtor right so you can check him out at yeah her realtor at gmail.com that's y e a what so let me start y -I -A. over y i a h e r r e a t L T O R at gmail.com. And you can check him out on Facebook too at Year Her Realtor. His phone number is 559 905 6122. I promise he'll take care of you. He is, he's also the president of the Mong Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, so he, he, he knows business. And don't forget to mention that uh, you guys heard it here on the Inspire Me Empowerment Con, uh, podcast. And uh, just let him know so that that way he knows who his friends are. Uh, but more importantly, um, yes, he will take you good care of you. Um, I know him personally, and he's a stand-up guy. I can personally vouch for him. So, you know, even in that buying process, right, like my first house I bought, uh, I didn't have a really good realtor. Uh, 
I'm not going to say he or she, but they did not take really good care of me. It seemed like I was annoying them more than anything. I wanted to go see this house. And, you know, I worked a full-time job, right? And so, you know, and on the weekends, I, you know, I got my side hustle. So I'm usually, say, at odd hours, late at night. And they're like, oh, like, it got to the point where they were just ignoring my texts and calls. And so I had to find a new one. And, and the one that I found, man, they took really good care of me. So it's important, right? You 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 should enjoy that buying especially if it's you're buying your first home, you should enjoy that uh, journey. And so if you go with Yeah Herb, uh, I promise you he will make sure it's an enjoyable um, uh, journey that you're going through. All right, so don't wait until it's too late, right? It's never too late to get into real estate, and it's never too early because if you don't get in, you just don't get in. And don't worry about real estate bubble and stuff like that because, you know, um, there's a lot of reasons why the 2008 happened, but we're not going to go into detail about that. We're going to wrap things up with our business plan. So again, um, business plan, lean, traditional, doesn't matter how you do it. It doesn't have to be any of these two. You could just start. Okay. Yeah. And you, I mean, you could just start putting ideas down. And again, if you don't know how to or you just need some sort of guidance, you always got Google. I'm sure there's a bunch of YouTube videos about it. Or you can just simply reach out to us at no cost to you. We are contracted through the vast Central Valley SPDC as business consultants, and we can help you with all of that. Don't forget to use our service because the best part about our service is that it's free of charge. Yeah. And you do not have to pay someone to help you with your business plan. Yeah. You should not. Okay, and if and if you are paying someone right now and you're watching us, please stop paying them <laughs> and give us a call. Okay, all right, and we will help you through with your traditional business plan or your lean business plan. And if you have no idea, this, if and if this is the first time you heard of such two words and the person <laughs> you're working with never introduced this to you, then you just got jipped by a a, a a consultant who didn't really want to take care of you. Yeah, and we will do our best to get, make sure that you get the best service, even though it's at no cost to you. So don't. Don't don't mistake uh, don't yeah, mistake, we're, we're not gonna yeah. we're not gonna cut you short and skimp on you just because you're not paying us. Yeah, don't mistake <laughs> us our 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 kindness that it's not quality work. Yeah. Just let you guys know, you know. So um, I'm a very when it comes to paperwork, I'm very detail oriented. I'm very structured, and so um, I will be uh, following up with you and until you you're anno um, I'm, I annoy you and say <laughs> stop calling me Va. I'm good with my business plan. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's our passion here to inspire you, to empower you, and uh, thanks for tuning in. This is the Inspired Empowerment Podcast here. And you are watching Manic Monday. This is Two. This is Vaughn. Signing S out. See you all next time.